Our next speaker is an artist, a DJ, and a film critic. Please give a warm welcome to Jeremy Wheeler. My first Japanese poster that I owned was Death Race 2000, Note Stallone, front and center, despite him being the co-star. Now there's a, there's a fantastic flow to the art that goes from the eyes to the explosion to the cars to the title, or the tits if you're like me. Now, my second was Carlito's Way. Now they didn't add much, but there's a method to the additions. You see Pacino's eyes because the woman's face is pointed towards them. Pretty smart. My collection grew with Mad Max 2 and Logan's Run. You can see how the designer is playing with uh, diagonal eye flows in Max, which is contrasted to the vertical typography in Logan's Run. As you will see, both are staples in Japanese poster design. Now, I collect a lot of movie poster books, from James Bond to Mexican pulp to horror flicks, and yeah, 70s porno. You know, I love them all and continue to use them as inspiration in my work. But it was these two books that really gave me a love for foreign posters. You know, as a lifelong movie fan, I find it fascinating how other cultures interpret not only their own films, but the ones that I love so much. Translating Hollywood in particular gave me an admiration for Polish film posters. <laughs> the thinking man's uh, movie art. Um, Often the designers are true artists that get to interpret the films in any bonkers way they choose. But it was the Japanese posters that really caught my eye, filled with, uh, you know, photo collages that were laid out in unusual ways, you know, with vibrant color schemes and grounded by bright red text. It didn't hurt that they had guns, swords, suits, and blood, all the shit I love. <laughs> it was these Yakuza films that drew me into the art form. You know, uh, they just really wanted to grab your attention. Uh, on the right, what the hell is going on there? Uh, I, I don't know. And here's Godzilla. These two display a knack for the absurd and a keen sense of design. Note the angled elements once again, as well as King Kong throwing Godzilla into space. <laughs> now something magical happens when East meets West, as evidenced in these two very silly posters, you know, b Leaping Batman, Headless Blues Brothers. It's crazy, but they're still designed with the same schemes that we've seen before. This is one of the most ridiculous uh, examples right here, a pop art inspired Army of Darkness poster, Bruce Campbell soup cans, and a garish color scheme. <laughs> By far, Japanese posters at their craziest. Poltergeist also benefited from Japanese design, as one of the most iconic posters of the 80s gets trumped by a psychedelic twin. And yet, this acid trip strikes a chord. Is that the other side that Carol Ann goes to? And these two posters are at opposite ends of the silly to serious spectrum, yet they both share an aesthetic uh, uh, <laughs> that, that is shared by uh, Asia, which is vertical typography. Now, the action films sport crazy design as well. This Dr. No poster plays by almost no design rules that I know of. <laughs> Yet it's pretty great. The Grand Theft Auto one is a mindfuck of scale and perspective, just nuts. This busting poster, there's no crumbling city, nor is there a car that drives upside down. But man, that poster is dope. <laughs> as well. The, notice how the stairwell figures into the French Connection design. Crazy. Now, I love these movies so much that I created my own posters for them. Busting features an angular design, and in French Connection, I did my own spin on uh, traditional Japanese typography and did the vertical art uh, uh, type once again. Here's a gig poster that was 100% uh, inspired by Japanese movie posters. You know, because it was so dope and totally, totally unique to the Howling's ad campaign. It's bright, charismatic, and yes, angular. Now, I looked through over a thousand movie posters for this talk, and through it all, I looked for one that would really solidify my connection to the art form. And I think I found it. Now, I'd never seen this Japanese flyer for Faster Pussycat Kill Kill before this. But I'll be damned if it doesn't look just like a bang poster I made not two months ago. 
If that doesn't say that I have Japanese design in my veins, I don't know what does. Thank you very much, and thanks! Thanks to Film on, uh, Film on Paper for lending me uh, such amazing images to use in part of my uh, talk. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to go watch some movies. Thanks.